Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, get out your shovels because we have a lot of snow that's going to be moving in for tomorrow. Winter storm is going to be barreling down on us. Behind this storm system, we do have some colder temperatures, but I'm sorry, I know you don't want to hear this, but another round of snow that's going to be moving in for the weekend. But for tomorrow, a winter storm warning is in effect from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. for Monroe, Appanoose, Davis, and Monroe counties, uh, including Atumwa. So again, that is a winter storm warning. Elsewhere, we're, we are under a winter weather advisory from noon until 6 a.m., on Thursday morning. We did actually see some warmer temperatures for today, which is always a good thing, uh, but those clouds starting to continue to increase and they'll stay with us as we're heading into the overnight hours. And then we've got all of that snow to look forward to for tomorrow. Right now, 36 degrees with cloudy skies at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the west, southwest at around five miles per hour. Very light winds, 35 and mostly clear skies in Ottumwa. Winds are out of the northwest. Pretty. Uh, Pretty um, breezy, about 17 miles per hour. Well, here's the track of the storm system. It's going to be up into Iowa, starting things out. As we're heading into the mid-morning hours, we're starting to see that snow creep into southeast Iowa, continuing to stay into southeast Iowa. Then as we're heading into the afternoon hours, it's starting to move a little bit farther south into northeast Missouri. Uh, by 10 o'clock, it's continuing to have some heavy bands as well, moving through the area into the overnight hours as well. So what we can expect is starting things out as like some light snow as we're heading into the afternoon and evening hours, moderate to heavy snowfall. All of that snow will be out of here very early on Thursday morning, I would say by at least a good 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning. Could see a few flurries lingering, but other than that, the most of the activity will be out of here. Right now, the latest is 4 to 6 inches. Uh, in Kirksville area, Unionville, in the area that is in the winter storm warning, six plus inches. So again, we're gonna, we've got a lot of snow that we're going to be dealing with over the next couple of days. For tonight, around 15 degrees with cloudy skies, northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Highs topping out in the mid-20s for tomorrow with moderate to heavy snow. Northeast winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. If those winds continue to increase, we're going to have to deal with some blowing snow as as well, but the impacts on travel roads will be snow covered definitely, and they will be slick. Four to seven inches of snow is possible. Some locations could be receiving a little bit more, so we'll have to keep an eye on this very closely. Behind this, I talked about the colder air. 13 degrees on Thursday, 4 degrees below zero Thursday night by the weekend into the low 20s on Saturday. But another chance for snow moving in Saturday, Saturday night, as well as Sunday. Temperature Sunday right at the freezing mark, 32 degrees. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Not one, but two rounds of snow. Here it comes again. I know. All right, thanks for the heads up, Teresa. Next